Hey everyone, welcome to today's vlog. I am so, so excited for this one. You can probably see in the title that I'm gonna be decorating Hudson's room. I've been doing little bits and pieces to his room over the past maybe four months and it looks so different to how it looked when we moved in. I am gonna put some little clips on the screen now of um, our house tour when we first moved into the house. We moved in a year ago, which is crazy that we've been here for a year already. Um, but let me put some little bits and pieces on the screen of how Hudson's room looked when we first moved in. We've got Hudson's room, which is really cute and little, but he doesn't need a big space and it'll get everything in that he needs. As you can see, it was a super blank canvas. We just moved in. It's a new build and there really wasn't much going on apart from like white walls. The first thing I really wanted to do was paint his walls and I kept seeing on Instagram and on Pinterest that people were painting like halfway up the wall. So I picked a really nice green colour and I painted his um, walls and his skirting board. This really nice green and I love it. And I feel like instantly it just completely changed his room and then I added some toys and little bits and pieces. And it's definitely started to feel a bit more homey, actually way more homey. And I really love it, but there was bits and pieces that I wanted to add to just make it feel more cosy and more like fun I guess. I just wanted to add bits like a rug and um, little decorations on the wall and stuff because I feel like it just adds loads of personality and um, I love those little bits and pieces because I feel like it makes the room come together. So I went on Not On The High Street and I was so amazed by all the little bits and pieces that they had on there. I've shopped on Not On The High Street before because I really like that you can personalise things but what I didn't realise is that they have furniture on there too and the stuff is so nice. So what I did was I put together a little mood board which is what I always do when I'm decorating a room and kind of make sure that everything goes together. So this is the little mood board that I made when I was looking on Not On The High Street. I love all the stuff on the mood board so I ordered it from Not On The High Street. They are actually sponsoring this video which I cannot believe because I love Not On The High Street. Honestly I'm super 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 excited you guys. So everything is now arrived. It's on the bed behind the camera it looks so good. <laughs> Let me show you how Hudson's room is looking right now. It's been painted, it's got really lovely things in, um, but I just think these bits and pieces will make such a difference. So let me go show you Hudson's room. I might check that it's tidy first. <laughs> and then I'll come back and I'll show you the bits that I got from Not On The High Street. I think you guys are gonna love them. Okay, so let me show you Hudson's room. As you can see, it's a lot different to when we first moved in. I love the colour green. I think it looks so nice, but I think it's just needing some extra touches. Like this wall over here is a bit bland. <laughs> Ignore the stickers, I do not know how they got them up there. I think a rug down here would look really nice. And I just want a bit more of like a pop of colour. How cool does it, all of this look? I am obsessed with this rug. I know he's gonna love that so much. And I'm excited to hang this, because I just think it's bits and pieces like this, and like this, that just, I don't know, I just think they make the room. Like, they finish it off, I think. This is gonna look awesome in his bed. I love the color of this throw. I thought this would be really good to put, like, his ugly toys, <laughs> you know, the ones that you just don't really want on display. They're always the ones that they like the most. This one I absolutely love. I'm going to put this in his bed and I think that is going to look so sweet. And then this basket here, I want to put a little plant. I haven't got a plant yet, but I might go and get one later to pop in there. I'll do a fake plant because I can't keep them alive for the life of me. One of the other things I got was this lampshade, which I thought was really cool. I love that it's got these bits hanging down from the bottom. I thought that would be cool in his room. And then the last thing I got is this cot, which he'll stay in the cot for a little bit, and then we'll change it to this junior bed. But it's this really, really lovely wood color. It looks awesome. So I got this because I thought it looked really nice like this. He can't roll out of the sides. Obviously I need to build this, so that will be one of my tasks to do today. 
Let's get those little bits and pieces that are in our room on the bed and get them into Hudson's room. See how the room looks and then I'll start making that cot. So I folded this over because I saw them do that on the website and I'm thinking in here can go things like his plasticky cars and little bits and pieces so I'll pop those in here. At your own pace, you need to find your way. So I just added this little shelf that I found in the shed because I just felt like this wall here was way too empty. So I've added a couple of books there and then I've also put this bunting that I got from Not On The High Street just there but I can't decide whether it looks good there or not. I think it does but you know when you've just been staring at something for too long I can't figure out if I really love it there. I think I do. This was something I made when Daisy was a baby so that was like a little handmade thing so I'm glad that um, that's more on show now because I did have it behind the door here but you never saw it. I actually forgot that it was there so I've moved that there. It's a shame that it's such a cloudy day because the room looks very yellow. On a sunny day this room is so bright and lovely. Um, but yeah, it's a bit dark in here. I think what I'm going to do next is take the cot out and start building the new one and then move that in because I want to put the cushion in and um, that cute mustardy blanket I want to put in. I also need to hang this but I can't figure out how to hang it. Matters to me. Okay, so you can probably see behind me is Hudson's old cot. I couldn't get it out of the door so I had to dismantle it all. David's just come home with Hudson and brought me a toasty from the cafe which is lovely. And I've brought all of the new cot upstairs. I'm going to try and build this so that Hudson can have a quick nap and then I'll carry on afterwards. That's if I can build it quickly. Cross your fingers for me. <laughs> Packed our bags, we'll be on our way The night was long as I waited without a sign A sign of what matters Matters to you But what do you want? What's your big... Okay, so I finished building that cot. It actually didn't take very long. It was about half an hour, 40 minutes, and I thought it was gonna be a long, long, long time, but it was actually pretty easy. One thing on the cot that I've done is take the sides off, just to see whether Hudson will go to sleep without the sides on his cot. I'll see how it goes tonight, and if he doesn't go to sleep, or he keeps getting out, I'll put the sides back on. But I just thought I'd give it a go, see how he gets on, and fingers crossed he doesn't keep getting in and out of bed. But let me go show you the room. I've pretty much done everything I think. I just put the lampshade on and that looks really good. Um, but the only thing is it's getting dark because it's about 3.30 and it starts getting so dark now. It's super super early. So I'll show you a little bit of it now but if it is too dark I'll show you again in the morning just so that you can see it a bit better. But let me go show you. So you come into the room. I've put the really nice lion rug down. I've popped the plant in here and then we close this door. This is how this side of the room's looking and I think it looks so cool. I just think all those little bits have added some really nice touches and it just feels a bit cozier now. I've got the little toy bag over here. Dark 
dark really, really, really quick. So I want to end this video before it gets pitch black in here. Um, but I'm so, so happy with the Not On The High Street products that I've got for this room. That bed is just so lovely. I love all the colours in here. The yellows are going really nice with the greens. And I just feel like all the little bits have made such a difference to the room. Let me know in the comments what you guys like the most. I'll make sure to link everything in the box below. Um, yeah, and also make sure you let me know what you think of this little room makeover. It feels so different to a year ago. Like, it's a completely different room, really. And even though it's a small room, it's a really nice space to play. I love it so much. I love how it's come together. I am starting to wonder whether I should paint half of this door green too, though. Let me know, I'm not sure. I just wanna say a quick thank you to Not On The High Street for sponsoring this video. I didn't realize that they had so much lovely homeware stuff on their website. I've also been looking at stuff on their website for the kitchen, cause there's loads of like, mm, I saw some really perfect bar stools for once I finished the kitchen island. They looked amazing. Um, but yeah, they've got loads of stuff on there I didn't realise, so make sure you check that out. I really hope you guys have liked this video. I've loved filming it. It's been really, really fun. And yeah, I'll see you for another one really soon.